can too, that this isn't a loss. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much you can do. Your child does not have to be, you know, go through regression during this time. Mm -hmm. um, so, so let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think um, you know one of the things, one of the things that I've noticed so many parents being so worried about, whether they have kids with special needs or not, is like you said, this idea of regression of, oh my gosh, if we're not doing something every single day, my kids, you know, their whole education is going to fall apart. Right. Um, and again, you know, I understand it goes back to that mindset, you know, we've been drilled into this idea, you have to do math every day, you have to read every day, you have to, it's okay to take a breather, you know, and, exactly. and, and people also don't realize that when you're stressed, you can't learn. So mm -hmm. right now, so true. Your kids are stressed, like they're off their, mm -hmm. their normal routine. And if you have a special ed kid, um, routine is quite often like that's their safety net. And if yeah, you yeah. don't have that right now, mm -hmm. they are on high alert. Their cortisol is pumping. Their, mm -hmm. you know, their fight or flight that's is going. Mm -hmm. You're probably seeing lots of meltdowns. You're seeing kids that are, you know, their behaviors off the wall. And it's because there's all these big feelings around the fact that their whole little world just got upended. And mm -hmm. adults are having a lot of the same problems. It's just that we have the tools to handle it, you know? Mostly, we, yes. we put the kids to bed and yeah, I know. We put them to bed and we sit and we zone out on our shows or, you right. know, parents break open a bottle of wine or whatever. Like we have these tools. We know how to manage our stress. Mm -hmm. Little kids that, you know, kids don't know. They're still learning how to right. handle when life throws you a curveball. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of adults who are not handling it particularly well. So if they can't handle it, Right. How can you expect your kids to? Mm -hmm. So if they're if they're all going crazy anyway, then the last thing you want to do is be like, we have to get this math done <laughs> because it's just yes. one more stress, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Well, so, I have a story to share about that. Yes. My one son was going through depression oh, when no. we did math. And, you know, we did all of school. But a year later, I went and was going to go on to the next level of math. He remembered nothing from that entire oh, year. Oh, wow. I yeah. mean, yes, we got his depression under control, but we had to repeat probably about a year and a half of math. Wow. Yeah. In, in that year because we had so many gaps. Mm -hmm. So it, it is so true that you really do have to get that anxiety, that fear, that schedule it's so important because yeah. really it's it's not even worth your time to right. be working on school things. Right. Yeah. It's and and even one of the things I've been telling families too is if your school has not given you any work to do, then they cannot hold you accountable for anything. Yeah, they really If can. your child cut, you know, they can't expect you to know what your child is supposed to be learning in school right now and then and for you to find just the right materials to be able to teach them everything. No, 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 no. You are already so stressed out. You are already, you know, just trying, particularly if you're one of these families who is also having to figure out how to work from home. That is a whole other deal. Trying to do that and homeschooling. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all have been thrown into the deep end. And my heart goes out to you because it's, you know, we've it's had all this time to figure this out. Homeschoolers, but no. there are a lot of special needs homeschoolers that do. I mean, yes. I've been on the yes. phone with many parents who just said, my school just brought me withdrawal papers to my door, asked me to sign them. Wow. Legally, they can't do that, but it has happened. Wow. Yeah. Um, that is so, insanity. So don't feel like this isn't the first time that I've heard this story. Man, that's <laughs> um, nuts. Yeah. That is and so, nuts. And and so, you know, we, we want to get on to the other topic, but, um, you know, learning is everywhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, and... What are some encouraging words you have to, for parents maybe about just how they can embrace what they can't do? Yeah. Right you know, this, you look for the silver lining, right? So yes, there's all this chaos. Yes, there's all this, you know, uncertainty. Um, but it is also like, when again, is your whole family going to be together with pretty much nothing to do. Like how often does that happen? That you're not running off to 8 million different things and everyone's got a schedule that's crazy and you spend half your time in the car and everybody's home. Just be together, play yeah. games, make it fun. Make it so that when your kids in 20 years are reminiscing about, oh, you know, when they're telling their kids about the great <laughs> pandemic of 2020, you know, the things they talk about is are, are things about how, you know, mm -hmm. 
you how you all played board games all the time and you went in the garage and you built random goofy things with scrap wood and boxes and you made an obstacle course in the backyard and you sat and binge watched movies and like make it like the world's most fun Christmas break. You know, like all the stuff that you do, you binge eat the crappy food and you, you know, you pop way too much popcorn and you stay up too late and you, you'll maybe not bet so much if your kid really needs the structure and the sleep, you know, right. but make, just don't worry about the school thing. Don't worry about the school thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Exactly. Put it, take it off the table and just embrace this time to be together and to mm. give your kids whatever they need structure wise and whatever they need comfort wise from you to feel safe and to feel secure and to be able to relax mm -hmm. and just go with the flow.